Hello fluffy people of the world, my name is Liquid Blitz and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. Um, been a few days since I last recorded, um, but I am here again. I'm a little tired today, I'll be honest with you, but that hasn't perturbed me. I still want to get stuck in. Uh, now I've just got to find the actual last save. Uh, hang on. 7.24. Oh, okay. There we go. So the last thing that happened was we uh, we were confronted by the one, the only, Count Dooku, General Morgan Lansdale, and he targeted our ship that Jill was on with the Sun Nuke, and then the episode ended. So fuck knows what's going to happen here. I have no idea. I've been thinking about it more in the, in the last few days since I last recorded, and Jessica is definitely some... Some shady operative. Um, I rewatched that scene where she shot Raymond, and it's she. She's working for for Count Dooku. She must be. Anyway, so she's going to betray us or something. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations, Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. It was all smoke and mirrors, orchestrated by yourself. We'll have to speed things up. Damn it! I still trust him. Well, you pretty much got it. I'm glad I'm not paying you for nothing. He reminds me of Colonel Campbell from Metal Gear Solid. I'll try to find a way to delay the seat. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. Well done, PSAA. Your activities have been eye-opening. Morgan Lansdale. Hey, Quint! You wanna oh yeah, I forgot he bombed Quentin Keith. I'm on! Your destiny. I completely forgot he uh, he carpet bombed poor old Quentin Keith. Hope oh, they're okay. Episode ten, Tangled Webs. I think I'm getting close to the end of the game now. I think that I've heard there's twelve episodes, but I think the twelfth might be like a a short episode, or maybe just like a prologue. Oh, here we are. He never got the hint. What a drag. Oh, we're going back maybe in time. Already taken, Jessica. Yeah, sure. Can we get started already? Oh, she's so gonna betray the sure. shoot Parker. We've been through hell before. It's nothing new for us. Yeah, just like old times. The good old FBC. She looks like Widowmaker from Overwatch One. I don't just in ge just the general aesthetic, like a tight, a tight black and purple sort of like a skin tight suit. Oh, here she is. Let's have a look at her. So, what's the plan? The plan is to confront. Activate the bulwarks and pray the ship stops sinking. Right, so the ship is. <laughs> we should be able to access the maintenance system. So, so okay. the ship is still sinking. We should split up then. There's something I need to check on first. Oh, okay, she's. Fine. I'll see you on the bridge. If she's not a bad guy, then they've done a great job here but they're laying it on a bit thick uh, in this game with with uh, general morgan and now jessica it's they, they literally couldn't have made it more obvious <laughs> let's get this over with and get the hell off this ship indeed so yeah um o'brien reminds me strongly especially since the last episode where he was it turns out he was kind of running veltro without telling any of his agents I still trust him, and the reason he reminds me of Colonel Campbell from Metal Gear Solid is because, f f like, multiple times in that series, he he can be tr he is a good guy, but he just he doesn't tell like Solid Snake any information at all, and it, so you think he might be a bad guy like the whole time, but he's just a good guy who just omits information and he's a bit shady. O'Brien seems exactly the same. Uh, right, so where are we? What we're we doing? Uh, da, 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 da. We need to get to the whatever the fuck that that place is. How are we doing on like keys and stuff? Because something tells me that playing as um, Parker, there's not going to be any like lootables or anything particularly, you know. Um, so I think I might just go straight for the destination this time. Um, now hang on, which way is it? So, what was the reason given for us splitting up just then? Oh, she's here. We speak. She's got like a creepy sort of like evil smile. Oh, was there, was there a thing then? Yeah, there. Hang on. What? What's wrong? 
You trying to ask me on a date? No, I'm trying to ask you why you're so evil. What? Okay. What's wrong? Right, shut up. Um, if there's one thing I don't like about the map in this game, it doesn't show you the direction at all. I think we're going this way. Let's just go. So we know General Morgan is targeting the ship right now. Um, or is it right now? Because for, for me and pa for Parker and Jessica, we just... We, we just left Jill and Chris, like, right now, so we have gone back in time slightly. Which is interesting. Um, so the, the scene that happened at the end of the last episode hasn't happened yet. If you follow me. We're like 30 minutes away from that whole uh, General Morgan revealing himself thing. So I guess when... when here. Hello? Did Raymond tell you everything? Yeah, he told me, boss. And you know what you have to do. O'Brien out. Uh, yeah, boss. I do. C c do you c care to tell me? Oh, fucking hell. Hang on, hang on. Uh... This is gonna sound like basic bitch, but what the fuck is the weapon to s the button to switch weapon? There we go. Fuck. I don't want to waste bu bullets unnecessarily. W w would you care to tell me what the plan is? I know we're closing the bulwarks to stop the ship sinking, but. Why, why is the info always omitted from me? Oh, we got a tough armored fucker. Can Parker use this box? No. At least we know what the hell Jessica... Well, I was going to say Jessica and Parker were doing. No, at least we know what Parker was doing whilst Jill was swimming around, getting infected in that red water, all that shit. But what was Jessica doing? Um, What have we got? He's just got... Yeah. I think Parker's loadout can't be changed. It's your basic pistol. Oh, fuck. Oh, Damn. fuck. This is not it's good. A new Shit, man. Damn these creatures. Always showing fuck! The worst Fucking... Types. What the fuck, man? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, multiple... Oh, shits. Can I go through this door? Um... Fucking Jesus. Oh, this is ridiculous. Fucking hell! I'm dead. Th what the fuck am I supposed to do, man? What the fuck? Okay, th this little segment is harder than anything Jill has faced. What the fuck? Oh, come on. Um, you know, I probably need these shotgun rounds. Okay, let's try and kill everything then. Running through d <laughs> did not work. Okay. Let's get the shotgun at the ready. I think the shotgun is the is the fast fast oh, fuck killer. Here. Did Raymond tell you everything? Yeah, he told me, boss. I forgot you could scan you things. You know what you have to do. O'Brien out. He even sort of has a similar voice. I he has a similar voice to Colonel Campbell, actually. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get both with one. Oh, this is a very slow shooting pistol. Right, let's reload. <coughs> I'm not going to die again. Although, I've just seen, I've only got one health item. Really? Th this level's laying it on a bit thick, isn't it? One heal. Unless I can scan for more and shit. You know what, I need to be scanning the enemies. What am I doing? That's how you get health in this game. You scan shit. Let's scan the big fuck. That should give me a bunch of points. Hang on, hang on. Come on. Fuck! Okay, this is not the time. This is not the time! Fucking Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get back in the back in the room. Back in the room. Let's use Let's use this as a choke point. That's the smart thing to do.
It's the smart thing to do. Let's throw a... How'd you throw a thing? There we go. Fuck! Fuck me! Oh, those things can crawl! Ooh! Hello. <gasps> Fucking hell! I'm sorry, I forgot they had arms that were like 14 feet long. Here I was, innocently going to scan the fucking thing. <gasps> fucking! Seriously, just die. Die right now. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. This is ridiculous. Run around him. I did get an, uh, another health item there. It's got like a flappy mouth. <gasps> fucking! Okay, okay. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. That that thing's reach is unreal. Now let's loot some things, because I know there are some lootables. No, oh, I have to get to the bridge. No time for getting lost. I'm not getting lost. I know exactly where I'm going up. But come on, we need some ammo and stuff to get to the bridge. You know, I regret coming this way. I should have gone the upstairs way, just like I did with Jill. I tried running through, but Jesus, I just got slapped. By the way, I looked at other people's playthroughs of this game online just, um, just to get an idea of how long the game took for them, if you see what I mean. Because I, I know I'm slow, but, but... Jesus, some people have completed this game. Blind, for first time, in like four hours, some people five hours. I'm on like nine hours and counting here. No, hang on. So I'm sorry for being so slow. But damn it, it is what it is. Um... Dude! I've got no heal items. I've got no heal items, dude. Oh, thank god the other ones are dead. Reload! Fuck! In the face! Thank god. Oh, hang on. Right, reload the shotgun really fast. I don't have any heal items. Fucking tentacle with legs. Literally, a tentacle with legs. Fuck me. I don't have time to scan. <laughs> Jesus. I need to scan, but I don't have time to scan. Right, I'm, I'm out of ammo here. Uh, I'm on half health. <laughs> oh, hang on. Will this take me straight there? Parker, oh, it does. Where okay. are you? I'm almost at the bridge. I'm already here. I'm going to start lowering the bulwarks. Wh why did we split up? You're just slow. And you owe me another dinner. That reminds me. I never got you that drink. That was a year ago. That's fine. You can make it all up to me in one big spending spree. <laughs> okay, fine. Just sit tight and I'll be there soon. Y you can... F Fuck off, Parker. I'm not spending a penny on her. <laughs> Guess she's a bad guy. <laughs> How? Why did we split up again? I sort of missed one line of dialogue, and that's enough to not know why we split up. We went to the same fucking place anyway. Y you see, you, you miss one line of dialogue in these games, and you've, you're completely lost. <laughs> or I am, anyway. Um, I don't think there's any... Uh, it's upstairs we need to go. Oh, here we go. Hold it right there. Oh shit, Perfect. just like that. The spy has infiltrated the BSAA. Morgan's more. And it may be you. Of course That's it is. What Raymond told me. What are you talking about? We don't have time to 
Oh, oh, oh Parker. So oh shit. What? Raymond. Oh. What? But you, you. Bulletproof fast, fake death. Yeah. Nice. Trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. What? God. I'm on Raymond's side. This is getting out of hand. Not funny. If she hits that button, she's fucking dead. I'm gonna shoot Say the bitch. Something. Parker, it's me. I can't trust you completely. Not yet. I, I trust Raymond. Mm. Put your gun down, Raymond. Yeah. Raymond does Stop. have the evil face. Don't be fooled, Parker. <laughs> Was that the leg? Parker! What? Stupid men. Oh my god. Talk about laying it on thick. You know what I'm saying? We could all tell she was a bad person. Where did Parker just get sh uh, shot? I'll tell Morgan it was you. <laughs> Jessica! Don't worry she needs to die. Now we're even. I'm sorry, Parker. Was it it looked like a leg shot to me, but it was like one frame, so I missed it. But you go! Do we play as Raymond? Conan O'Brien. Do we get to play as Conan O'Brien? Was it a leg shot? I, I don't. I didn't see where he got shot. Or was it like his stomach? Why would you let her pick the gun up and then shoot it? So there's no need for the sun nuke that Morgan is threatening us with. Because she's just fucking exploded the ship, it looks like. With all of us on it. Including herself. Well, she's going to have some way off the ship. <laughs> she she had evil written all over her. How, how, how are we the only ones who noticed? It is true that Raymond has the evil, scrunched up sort of villain looking face, but... uh. I trust him. I want to play as Raymond now. He has more sense than Parker, that that's that much is sure. Cause right off the bat Raymond was like, fuck fuck Jessica. And then Parker. Parker. Uh Yeah there. Yeah, Parker forced Raymond's gun down so Jessica could grab the gun. I mean, come on, Parker, you're smarter than that. You're smarter than that. For, for, for dying and shooting a lot, I, I got an S for accuracy, though. That's not bad at all. But I did die. Right, so who are we now? Well, just like that, the ship is fucked. That's sinking a bit fast, isn't it? Oh! What? That's the other ship. That's we, we. Everybody is on the Queen Zenobia now, now, right now, not well, the Samiramis. The proud Queen Samiramis. What? She chooses death rather than suffer indignity. As will the Queen Zenobia. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Right. Okay. Personnel evacuate immediately. That was odd. Cannot be aborted. Repeat. Checkmate. It appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Hmm. Have I made things clear? I'm a bit confused at why the other the ship went day. down just then, but... Now we finally have a target. Start counting, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Not Ooh. the most original... Man, I would be afraid if I was him. Best of luck, gentlemen. He's already admitted to being, like, afraid of shit. Now he's definitely going to be afraid of shit. Oh fuck! Uh, oh, thanks for un thanks for unlocking the door for us. We, gotta get out of here. we do, but first I've got to check. <laughs> got to check for scannables and lootables. Um, are we good for the battle ahead? Let's just take a breather. Let's take a breather and just theorize for a second. That's odd. She hit the self destruct sequence, and it's it has activated for the ship that everyone's on, but it. it I don't know, that was just that was a clear bait and switch there. We saw the ship like burning and exploding and then start to go down and it was the other ship. Are we to take it that somebody on that other ship just 
did the same self-destruct thing, basically. Odd that it would cut to that ship uh, after we hit the self-destruct on this ship. Uh, weird. Anyway, we've got plenty of shit. I've got the, the good three weapons. Look, I think we could just go, honestly. At least Morgan is unlocking the door for us. That's nice of him. Um, have we read this already? Shit, man. It's been a few days. I can't remember. Hang on. Real quick, real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. My parasites. My, uh, yes, I think we have. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go. This is Hattrick. Crook here at your service. I'm on standby over the Queen Zenobia. Rendezvous on the foredeck. Is this guy like a chopper gunner? So get moving. Repeat. This is Hattrick. Why is it that everyone in this game, when they announce themselves, they, they use their handle, like their n nickname thing, and then they say their actual name? Um, like every time Jill was on the radio or whatever, they would say, Vermilion, Jill here. Uh, yeah, it's weird that they would use both the handle and the real name. The foredeck is this way. Anyway, we won't question it. His name is Kirk. Patrick, a.k.a. Kirk. So, what? what's the goal here? Because it said the thing can't be aborted. Are we just getting the fuck off the ship? The explosions have started. We're out of time. Yes, we are. Let's just go for it. This is not the time for scanning or whatever. Not the time for lootables. Hang on, where the fuck are we? I'm lost. Oh, we we hauling out. Look at this swim speed. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, this is not the time for lootables. For once in my life, I'll just run for it. <laughs> I can't help it, man. Come on, how rude. Fucking Jesus. Have we, have we been to all these... Fucking Jesus. Have we been to all these places already? Have you seen how fast we're running? By the way, if I see a single scannable, I'm calling bullshit. Jill, this way. I bet there's a handprint somewhere. I'm trying to get there, but random explosions are fucking me. I'm okay, but I can't get through. I'll find a way around and meet up with you. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, uh... I believe in you. We, we know Chris survives. What the fuck? What the fuck did I just see? Was that Parker injured? It is. Oh. Hi, dear. Hello. Are you okay? Can you stand, Parker? Parker's a good guy. Thanks, Jill. He's a bit of a fool, but he's a good guy. Just Maybe you shot me. She's working for Morgan. Uh, Is Jill surprised? Yes. Hmm. Well, come on. We we all saw her shoot Raymond clear as crystal. Come on, come on. Um. I can only use a pistol. Are you kidding me? Okay, if these aren't dead, and they're going to come to life now, I'm calling bullshit. Uh, hang on, where, 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 where are we going? This way. Oh, I can't scan! <laughs> the, the game is like, stop trying to fucking scan and run. <laughs> we're not getting past that. Shit! Can't we turn it off or something? Yeah, there's a big old shiny button. Let's do this. I love how there's always like a simple solution. This is a big shit, man. Don't get cocky. There's always a big shiny button that'll just unblock the way. Reload. Reload one handed. Oh my god. Jill's got the skill. Right, can I have that ammo? It must be tricky to reload with one hand. Uh, I think we're hooking her left here. Parker. Chris, I'll explain later. 
Just back me up for now. Roger that. I'll take the lead. Follow Sorry, Chris. <laughs> I knew he's invincible, so. Right, let's follow Chris. I love the Jill and Chris team. It's like ultimate. Jill and Chris are like upper echelon of skill and professionalism. Park is like just beneath them. Oh shit. Ow. Is he gonna die? Come on. It's just one bullet wound. If Parker dies, I'm gonna fucking kill Jessica. Oh my god. This is- it's not safe to be standing next to these- Oh shit. You don't want to be standing next to flaming gas tanks. Chris, we may not. Yeah, I know. But we're not leaving anyone behind. I'm really slowing you down. Oh, shut up. He's a bit too big to carry. He just seemed a little sort of, um... He just seemed to have a little extra around the middle. <laughs> around the midsection. But he's a good guy. I like Puck. I like his hair. Catch him, man! Catch him, man! Fucking hell. Oh, is this one of those let me go moments? Fuck you. Rescue him. Come on. Oh, that's a lot of weight to be holding on to. Chris, help, man! Jesus. He's not going to die. Come on. Oh, God. Just not my night. Ooh, shit, man. Oh, come on. Damn it! Can Jill? It was a nice ride. You might want to grab his arm, Jill. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, oh, what a horrible, pointless death. Nothing worse than a pointless death. He went out like a man, though. No screaming or anything. He went out like a G. Jill, we have to go. Okay, now Jessica needs to die. See what I mean? They're just consummate professionals. They don't let emotion get in the way. Beginning countdown for oh shit. Oh for God's sake. We're out of time. Yeah we are. Any more scannables? <laughs> uh, don't need anything. We're good. Let's just uh, go. Uh, can we turn off the steam? Whoa! Eh? I wish I could show you what I'm doing with my mouse. I am moving it like crazy. Come on. Is that it? You can tell by how fast my camera whizzes around once I get off the wheel how fast I'm moving my mouse. Right, time is taken. I'm not going to have a repeat of that last section, like, a couple of episodes ago, where I took my time and completed it with six seconds to go. Seriously, I've upgraded this Magnum so much, I can one-shot kill these enemies. This is crazy. Right, Chris, are you right behind me? I've got this. I've got this. I don't have this. Oh my god. One. Jill, this way. I just got a steam achievement, but now's not the time. Fuck! No! Climb the ladder! Jesus Christ. There must be more game left it took for me to loot a customizable part right now. It feels like end of the game vibes here, but it's clearly not. Almost there, Chris. Let's go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Kurt here. Are you both good? I'll fly around. 
Can't we just jump off right here? Oh my god. Uh, watch for the flying boxes. Can we take a lifeboat? <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay, this is going vertical. Come on! No! No! It, it changed sides. That's not how these levels are supposed to work. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, fuck me. Uh, you, you, you don't say. Come on! There was a barrel left and a barrel right. What the fuck was I supposed to do? I'm checking for handprints. <laughs> what? What the fuck am I supposed to do? This is ridiculous. Usually on these sorts of little moments in games, you, you, you've got to move out of the way, but it's changing sides. That was, that was horse shit. We have a boat taking up the entire width. Unavoidable. I want to mourn Parker, but Jesus. We don't have time to mourn Parker. Two choppers? Is Jess gone? Is Jessica on one of them? Oh my god. We know Chris and Jill survive. <gasps> King of all Krakens. What in the fuck am I looking at? Worry about her later. Yeah, we've got more immediate concerns, Jill, like the massive swamp monster Kraken. Oh fuck me, that's the end of the episode. What the fuck? Oh my god. That was officially the biggest like monster I've seen in a Resident Evil game right there. That w I've been making jokes about how these whale tentacle things are like krakens or whatever. That actually was a big fucking kraken. That was a colossal beast. Jesus. Oh my god. We've got two choppers. We have we've got um hat trick, um whatever his name is. Uh, Kirk flying around, but then there's another chopper already there. W was that um, Jessica? It kind of looked like Jessica's side profile. I hope she gets swallowed. I hope she hi hijacks that chopper, flies away, and the big Kraken beast swallows her whole. And then we can all collectively stand there and laugh at her. You know, you know a person is a soci like a psychopath, sociopath, when they don't give a fuck about comrades and old friends. Like, she was laughing at Parker and then just shot him, even though they've known each other for years. That's the sign of a f crazy motherfucker. Let's do this. <sighs> Tangled webs. She was like a spider. On Resident Evil Revelations. Hold it right there. She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism. That was a short episode. Destroy the evidence. We just we just watched this. It appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Oh God. Now, have I made things clear to you? Jessica! I'm sorry, Parker. Why would she be good at one point and then just turn evil? See you guys. He went out literally smiling as well. That's that's what a solid gentleman and hero. Went out smiling. Is this ep full episode me versus this fucking thing? I've got like a, a pistol and a like a shotgun. How's that gonna kill like a colossal sea beast? Res episode eleven revelations. This must be the final. Thing. Look at it, man. Look at it, man. Extraction is not possible at this time. What is it? Patrick out. Can't you rocket it from a, dis a safe distance? It's got a face and it's got like a tentacle dick. Created. We can do this, Chris. Where's Jessica in all this? <gasps> Fuck, just like that. Just like that. 
Can you deal with that thing? Uh, okay. Aim for the parasites. Okay, the ca my camera is uh is is being very weird. My 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 camera. It, there's something weird about the controls in this fight. When I turn a little bit, it locks my camera on and turns it. It's it's disorienting as fuck. So are these the parasites? These that um these things. I don't like the controls in this fight. Let's just shoot. I can't see any other sort of thing. Damn, what can we do? Oh shit, shit. I think okay, let's just shoot these. I dropped off some ammo for you. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Right, that's one worm thing. Uh let's knife this. At this rate, I will need ammo. Rocket launcher? Whoa! I I'm trying. I'm. Do you see what I mean by it's, it's locked on? Got it. There you go. Nice. Um, I dropped my assault rifle. Fuck! Jesus! Okay. I really don't like the camera. Fuck, 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 dude, fuck. This is what the fuck is going? On? This is the this is the craziest boss fight. Can we not shoot the big face? I'm out of ammo. I do need it. I can't heal, by the way, because I've got no heals. I'm an idiot. Dodge these fucking things, and then rocket. Uh, no, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't miss that. Right, rocket launch. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Okay, dude. I'm trying my best here. I'm sorry. Got it. Let's get my assault rifle. Where is it? I've got no heals. This is so awkward, the controls. Oh, is it dead? Incredible, both of you. Is it dead? I'll drop down a ladder. Come on up. That's a big old mouth. That looks like the crack literally the Kraken from um, um Clash of the Titans. The first one with what's his name? Sam Worthington. Very similar sort of face and mouth. It's not dead. It's alive. <laughs> hold the fuck on. How can you hold on to that? My god. This is a real man right here. There we go. Like, where actually is Jesse? Oh, right, okay. No! Thing free. Agreed. Mm, good point. Good point. Good point. We can't let a kraken, an act, an actual kraken, roam the seas. Oh my god! What a segment this is. Infinite ammo time. Let's just go for it. We can't hit it from here. Take us closer. I'm hitting it fine. Too many bogies. Trust bogies. Okay, fine. Hold on to your seats. We could. <gasps> Uh, launch grenade! Oh my god. We're a bit fucking close, aren't we? Oh, we're trying to... Okay, let's just try grenading the actual thing itself. This is just crazy. I'm glad the main beast itself is, like, immobile while it lays these... Uh... I was going to say lay, lays these eggs, but they're not eggs, they're giant tentacles. You know what I mean? When it's sending these worms out, it's immobile. How many worms has this thing got in it? Fucking Jesus. Oh my god, I'm getting disoriented. 
Whew. Up in the face, you tentacle bitch. Look at it. It's like a giant dick. It's like a giant flaccid cock. <laughs> I mean, not really, but you get my point. This is literally ridiculous. <laughs> oh shit. There isn't enough space inside this floppy cock monster to have all these tentacles. This monster has a serious case of worms! Oh my god. Get out of my face! Fuck me. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are so gonna get grabbed. What the fuck's going on here? Mr. Pilot, can you back off a little bit? I'm doing a good job here. Oh, he's moving his mouth. How often can we use a grenade? Oh, I've got limited grenades. I didn't see that. Oh, this is just target practice. My a oh shit! My accuracy is gonna be dog shit after this episode. Fucking hell, man! I think I'm doing quite good considering. Let's just shoot its face. Did no, we kill oh. it? no, it's moving. Its mouth is moving. Oh, here we go. Showdown. Jesus. Grenade in the mouth! In the mouth! Where the fuck did that come from? Done! In the mouth! Fuck you! It's like a big seahorse, actually. Ignoring the worms. It's the shape of a seahorse. All the tent the, the the tentacle boys we know came from Wales, I think the document That's all said. She wrote for the Zenobia. That that ship was stood a lot of damage. What's Jesus. On our way out. We lost Parker. How are they so took the whole ship down. The FBC? Well, Morgan. Was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yes, I see. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. My mistake. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Yeah, for, just Sorry. just be honest. It all started one year ago, right there, Terra Grecia. I still trust him. Some fucking loud shit going on outside my house right now. S and S, nice. Sixty-nine percent accuracy is an S rank. What? That's horse shit. I'd love to know how the fuck Jessica got away. I'll be honest with you. Right, so where's this? There it is. I think there is one more episode. We're not going to fight General Morgan in this episode. General Morgan has the. Uh, I don't know. He's got that next. That. that alpha level enemy um, status where he'll probably be in multiple games I'm guessing going forward or some, something like that you know so there's no way we're going to confront him surely <sighs> Jesus one year ago right flashback explain please there's Jessica with her purple leggings she, look, she looks completely different so they were both with the FBC at this point. Oh, hell. Yes. They call it Terra Grigia. She's literally got a different face. Her lips are, are a different. Oh no. I suppose she is the same. She she's still got that creep ass smile on the face though. I could look at that and tell you she's about she's like an evil person. Dude. 
This game is great for allowing you to actually live the flashbacks. Oh, we've got no map. Right. Okay. We should get to the command room. Right. Oh, fucking! Where the fuck? We have to hurry. Your HQ is done for. Okay, I've got nothing, man. I've I've literally got nothing. How's this fair? So we're going to the command center. Like earlier in the game, we started an episode in that command center. I'm guessing that's after this. Commissioner Lansdale was right. Yeah. The boss has pushed for an expansion of the FPC's purview. This is just the kind of thing he was warning the world about. And this incident will bring the crisis to the limelight. It could be good PR, really. Yeah. Oh. Maybe the international community will finally get the message. I guess she just agrees with Morgan. She has a lot of growing to do. I guess straight up she agrees fully with Morgan, and that's why all yeah. you know in those Damn. all those years later, or one Damn year later, things. she's working for Morgan. But come on, she's evil as fuck. I have one bullet, dude. Um, I need, I need some assistance. Oh shit, man! I need the ammo first, though. I need, I need to be able to defend myself. Hang on. Fuck. Fuck, man. In the face! In the face! In the face! I can't do shit, man. We have to get rid of them. Fuck! Oh my god. Stop dodging! Oh, they're perfect at fucking dodging. Can't. Ooh, ooh. I think that's the last of them. My god, man. It's okay, I'll be fine. <laughs> I wonder where Raymond is on the ship as well. Don't try to act tough. Alright, somebody lend him a shoulder. Parker. <sighs> he's that's a lot of blood he's he's been bleeding. HQ has told you to leave. But I can still fight. You're not convincing me. Come on, grab on. All right, Jessica, I need some cover. Even though you're an evil bastard. We can't pull out yet. There are civilians out there. See, Raymond's a good guy. Heavily outnumbered. We have to regroup. Raymond's a good one. I should have never distrusted him. He's got an evil scrunched up face, but that's... You should never judge a book by its cover. Because Jessica's... Jessica, if, if Jessica was a book, her cover is beautiful. You would never suspect. And then it turns out it's an evil bastard. Seven men. Who armed them? And the B.O.W.'s. <laughs> Jessica, probably. These terrorists must be brought to justice. Blasted. Um, hang on, have I seen this shit before? Or is this brand new? I don't think I've seen this before. Let's read this. Oh, goodness me. London Daily Courier, Tragedy and Terror Creature by Donatello. Uh, it was not one of the mutant ninja turtles. A beast slouches towards Europe to be born, and that beast is the, f is the FBC. This is just a regular news story. That beast is the FBC. What is unique about this beast is that the Federal Species Protection Committee that gave birth to it was no beast itself and was intended to assist the US in its counter-bioterrorism efforts. Unfortunately, Europe has become the home to a tragedy that has roused the beast. The FBC has taken complete control of the biohazard outbreak in Terra Grigia and has in effect barred the participation of other countries. Terra Grigia is an aquapolis um, that was developed jointly between US and EU teams to research and develop alternative energy sources. The impetus behind the city's development was twofold. The Europeans wanted to halt the climate change and the Americans hoped to develop energy sources for Africa. Noble idea. To that end, the city was placed strategically in the Mediterranean Sea. Terra Grigia has enjoyed cooperative administration by both sides and has been held up as a model of successful US-European cooperation. The terrorist attack in Terra Grigia has, the, has put the kibosh on that. What's kibosh? According to conditions stipulated in the treaty outlining Terra Grigia's governance, both the US and Europe have equal authority during a terrorist attack. 
Only during the event of bioterrorism does the FBC assume a leadership role. Mm. The FBC was formed with the express purpose of dealing with the threats posed by bioterrorism. They have a crack squad of soldiers on permanent standby, that's us. And by that measure, they have the most expansive charter of any organization in Europe. During a time of crisis, they have the blessing of the US to take charge and control the situation. And that is how the FBC came to be in charge of the current chaos in Terra Grigia. The FBC Commissioner Count Dooku has announced that EU involvement will not be tolerated while his organization deals with the crisis. That's a bit of a firm standpoint. European authorities pressed Lansdale to respect their rights in this matter and they were able to convince him to bring in Commander Clive R. O'Brien, aka Colonel Campbell of the BSAA, a well-respected international civilian group. Oh, so BSAA are civilians, technically. The, I've got a bunch of arseholes outside my house right now, just racing up and down this road. I'm sorry if you can hear cars on my fucking microphone. The problem, however, is even though O'Brien himself is a bioterrorism expert, he is working with virtually no support staff, which limits the scope of actions he can take. While the story on the tragedy is still unfolding, it would seem the FBC is ignorant of the extent of the suffering in Terra Grigia. Whether Lansdale has the ability and the intelligence to handle this attack without becoming a Yeatsian beast. A Yeatsian beast? Also remains to be seen. So, okay. Right, I need more ammo and stuff. I know you've been shot and you're dying, but... It all connects now, because earlier in the game, in that command room, Raymond was, like, limping and injured. This game is proper try to do like a Quentin Tarantino. We jump, we like 17 times in this game. We've jumped forwards and jumped backwards and jumped all over the place, switched characters. I think I've done quite well to keep a handle on what the fuck is going on, honestly. It's not simple. Oh, fuck. It's all right. I can buy you some time. Go on without me. Shut up. Earn some stripes before you get yourself killed. I mean, I feel strange that we've just witnessed Parker die. We didn't have time to mourn him or anything, but now we are Parker again. It's a strange uh, gameplay choice. Like, magically, he's alive again. Right, uh, are we going in here? We have we are very slow with Raymond on the shoulder. Um, hang on, any herbs? Herbs or spices? Oh, hang on. There was a room over there. Oh, shit. Hang on. Sorry. Just breathe, Raymond. You'll be fine. I'm sure his hair used to be redder than it is now. It's like just ginger now, but I, I'm sure it was actually bright red before. Should be some loot in here, I guess. Were, were these documents on this? Because we've already been on this level way earlier in the game. Was this already here? And I'm just reading the same shit again. Um, I, I think I remember reading about the FBC and what they do, etc. Yeah, the chair. It's I've read this before. Right, okay, I won't read it again. But it's been like a month since I was last here or something in real lifetime, so I've sort of forgotten. Well, I'm glad I came back this way. Look at Jessica, still smiling. And in the way. Smiling and in the way. And what is keeping that hat on? We already know M Morgan is behind all of Terra Grigia, I think. I think he is. I could be wrong, because Veltro were a real terrorist organization, but I've actually forgotten, like, if, if Morgan was behind Veltro or not. Not good. You're losing blood. It's too dangerous to move. He needs immediate first aid. He does. He does indeed. You should be okay here. <laughs> Rest easy. 
He looks to be fine. The med unit's on the fourth floor. We might find something to bandage him up. Uh, I'll be back, Cadet. Don't go anywhere. Everything will be okay. All right, let's go, Parker. <laughs> Shit. I'm no use to anyone. <laughs> Okay. Shit. Right, so where the hell are we going? Uh, oh, we're much faster now. We are all the way back this way. Oh, hang on, there's a... You, oh, I forgot you can, we can jump over the barricades. When we're not lugging a Raymond around. Oh, shit. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. So we're going up to the fourth floor. And it should be back this way. Yeah. I swear, put a rat in a maze and they would figure out directions better than me. So Parker, it's nothing new, but aren't you a little hard on the new guy? You mean Raymond? The only way those guys will grow up is with a little towel snapping. <laughs> okay, fine. Guys in your little games. She she really is. I, I'm getting. You know what? I'm getting sort of misogynistic vibes from this lady here. How about you stop generalizing? And where the fuck am I going? The the, the thing shows. Oh, hang on. Are we going to the stairs? Hang on, what was this way? Have we been this way? Yeah, this was where Raymond was. Sorry, I'm getting lost. And you see what I mean about not even being this as way. talented as a rat in a maze? I'm lost already. Any more ammo? Fucking Jesus. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Parker, kicking names and taking ass. That he he just pulled a Will Smith from Independence Day, just fucking bang right in the face. Uh, hang on, are we going this way? I assume we are. Med unit should be down here. Aren't we like elite soldiers? You know what I mean. Elite operatives. How 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 are we not carrying like med supplies on us? I'm just gonna skim. Um, I really don't know if we've read this or not in the past. Um, so this is all. This is just talking about how General Morgan is like charismatic and. Intelligence, keen insight, charisma, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Cloak and served him well in the cloak and dagger world. Uh, cloak and dagger world of international espionage. Da, 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 da. Charm Congress. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we have read that. I remember that one now. Just talking about how brilliant Lansdale is and how the U.S. government gave him power that he shouldn't have had. I don't know why, but watching these guys stalk around an office space, like a, like a, a strictly a 90s looking office space with your massive computers and things, it reminds me of um, The Matrix for some reason, with the agents walking around the cubicles looking for Neo. <laughs> I don't know why that comes to mind. This is too many. This is, t this is entirely too many. Fuck off, man. Have a grenade. Fuck. Professionally dispatched. And Jessica is not helping. Gotta check every nook and cranny. There we go. Reload. Oh, what's that? Oh, there we go. A simple tourniquet to stop the bleeding. Are. Just what I needed. Oh, hello. This should do for the meantime. Shouldn't we just take the massive bag of that says first aid kit on it? 
just in case a tourniquet isn't enough. I don't like the fact it's just giving us a shit load of ammo now, all of a sudden. God, more hunters! If you can hear me, get back here now! Raymond's in trouble. We have to go back. I knew that rookie would be a pain in the ass. Don't take it out on him. It's not his fault. Oh, <laughs> does that instantly kill him? I think it does. I can probably go up and down more stairs, but let's just get back to Raymond. We know he survives. Ooh. Oh! Fucking Jesus. Knife. Him. It was, um, back through here. I'm not even kidding you. Like, you know how you can teach rats to, um... I'm surrounded! I don't know if I can... Listen to me, cadet. You are not going to die. I order you to stay alive. We are coming! <laughs> Fucking knife him. He should be right around this corner. Uh... Nope, no, no, no. Through some doors first. Oh shit, man, he's, he's proper under duress here. But we know he survives. I'm fine, but they might. Hey, you held out good there. Just leave the fighting to us. We'll show you how it's done. He, he, he did hold out good. All right, if safe and sound. Now we can take care of our little cadet. How condescending is she? You know, I really don't like her. And that not just because we know she's an evil fuck, but she's just condescending, she's insulting men. Just fuck you. How bad are you hurt? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Alright, cadet. Now you owe me one. Hey, I get it. You want justice served. No more heroics. He didn't die on the ship though, did he? Suspicious eyes. Welcome to the real world. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, that should ease the pain. I know it's been like in the last hour, but we didn't see him die, did we? If I if I miss something, I, I always miss things. I should be able to walk. But we didn't see what happened to Jessica or Raymond on the, the ship. To the command room is right there. Okay. I'm sure we didn't see him die. Cause Parker put his put Raymond's gun down so he couldn't shoot Jessica. Jessica then shot Parker. Think you can move, which can led I? to his death. But I we never saw anything that comes our way. We never saw what happened to Raymond, did we? I swear I'm paying attention. I'm just shit. My memory sucks ass. Any herbs? Nope. Plenty of ammo though, let's just go ham. All aboard! Something is off. What yeah, her smile is off. Think about it. The delivery and dispatchment of these BOWs. It's too professional. It's because Morgan's behind everything. Cadets, you're stepping out of bounds. They're not here to investigate <laughs> this thing. They're here to resolve it. I, I welcome Raymond's questioning. You see, Raymond is the only one with any fucking sense. It's sound. Yeah. I w critical thinking is an important skill, and re so far Raymond's the only one with any fucking common sense. He's questioning shit. <laughs> Honestly, if Pog had have questioned shit a bit more, he might not have ended up getting shot and then might not have ended up dead. I'm just saying. Just saying, it's the truth. Oh, Jesus. Say that again. Room's close by. 
Just keep our cadet alive. I know you're hurt, but try to keep up, cadet. Can we get out of here? Oh, look at those rusty shells of cars. Oh shit. Out the way, I need that ammo. <gasps> Fucking! Whoa! What? What the fuck? I was on full health then, and I just turned around, didn't see shit, just, just swipe, dead. What? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, that's, that's gonna be an A rating and not an S rating. Thank you, game, for instantly fucking me. I appreciate it. Not. That was ridiculous. From full health to dead with one swipe. From, from a monster that came out of nowhere. I'm gonna heal you now, just in case I wasn't full health. No, I want I want all this shit again. Let's get it real quick. And let's look above this time. You know what? I would say, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll save you. I'll help you. But no, you're evil, so fuck you. With your evil-looking Sith color hat. I can see a guy running. He's just, he's just, he's just exercising. Just cardio. Oh shit. Hello. Um, we're actually full health. We need to be upstairs, I think, but let's loot everything. Nothing else? Oh, uh, yeah, we're full and nearly full. Oh, there we go. Hang on, shit. Need every frag we can get. Can't jump over. Shit. Always go the wrong way first. I'm sorry, I know you're like on death's door, Raymond, but I've got to go the right way to loot all this shit. Right, we are actually full now. There's a box over there, but we're, we're full, so it's fine. He hasn't made it yet. Give him some cover. Oh, come on, man! Hobble faster. If you hobble at full speed, we'll take care of this, Cadet. You'll find shelter in the command room. Yes, I'm on my way. Looks like Raymond got through. Now it's time for us to get through. Jesus. What the fuck, man? There is no end to these things. Are you trying to leave me behind or what? You're fucking standing right here, bitch! The fuck? The last of the hunters. I would hope so. Um Let's hit the command room. Um I'm sure it doesn't matter now. It must be the end of the episode, I feel. But let's just let's just loot a little bit. Let's get back to full. You never know when you're going to have to shoot a Jessica in the fucking face. Here he is, evil fuck himself. And I can hear you just fine. That is simply splendid news. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido, Norman. Who is Norman? You intended for the virus to break out on our ship? Well, we've certainly been had. I'm not done yet. You still have an important purpose. What an evil fuck. So there's a third the ship. There's a controlled environment. And the data on your mutation will serve a venerable purpose. The Queen Dido. The boldness of your self-absorbed ambitions is impressive. I am always disgusted by what you Americans can dream up. 
Hmm. I will take that as a compliment. We had some suspicious looks there. We knew that you could end up being a liability. So we've kept video records of all of our interactions. If they go public, your life is finished. Is this where he nukes the ship? You may do as you please. Use of the satellite has been approved. The new virus will be completely eradicated. You bastard! <laughs> I wonder how much of that Raymond understood. He is just a recruit, by the sounds of it. Full soon shall thou be where thine eye shall answer make to thee of this, seeing the cause which raineth down the blast. That was just, that was just good old-fashioned bullshit out of his mouth. So, so Queen Dido, we've got Zenobia, Samaramus, Dido, and I, I, I remember there, it said there were four or five ships at one point. And we're back to the present. Oh, could you? What? Jessica has escaped. We were so close. Hey, I'm sorry, Raymond. You were right all along. It's just a, a flashback, but somebody was on top of things. Don't be so hard on yourself, Parker. Now it's my turn to save you. I'm a, I'm a little bit. Come on. We're getting out of here. After he fell, did he survive, or is this not? The spirit cadet. You get what I, you know what I'm saying. Is this before his death, or did he fall and not actually die? No, zero explanation. I don't know what time it is. I don't know at what stage of the ship's sinking this is. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. Right, makes sense. Okay, so oh, Raymond was in on it. Act. The mountain hideout, the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan. But sir, couldn't you have at least told us? Good question. I couldn't risk it. Not with a mole inside the BSAA. Good answer. My apologies. Good. Okay. That work. Understood. In both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Yeah, I know. But I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quinn, they've left us with an ace in the hole. Did. The data analysis they sent us, the results are in. Well, what were what they? Yeah, what results? We assume Veltro made use of two sister ships in the Terra Grigia panic. Okay. But there was a third. Queen Dido? Final Queen. The, the only other one we've got a name of is Queen Dido. That was just mentioned. I, th I mean, I, I heard there were 12 episodes, so I think there is more. Okay. Let's just blast to save. Our rankings have gone down since the start of the game. We're now consistently getting A's. Alright, let's just blast a full-blown save again. Um, I've been looking on the clock. I've been recording an hour and 18 minutes. So usually, end of an episode, I would end here. But I, th I think I've, I've decided I'm going to keep recording. This is going to be an extra long, what I'm sure is a final part. Um, it just is what it is, so... If it ends up being like four hours long, I will split it in two, but... If it's like two, two and a half hours, I will literally just upload it as an extra long, an uncommonly long episode. But I want to... I, I don't want to stop now, like, so close to the end. So let's keep going. Let's figure out what the hell happened with, with fucking Raymond and Jessica. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration of the Queen Dido. There we Dido. go. Queen Dido. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout coordination of the ships all to put heat on Morgan but I haven't given up yet They've neither have I 
Oh, we're going to go back to Quentin Keith again. C cue the porn music. The Queen is dead. So we've had Zenobia, Samaralis, and then we've just heard of the Dido. So that must be the third ship they're talking about. Right, listen for the music. It'll dictate which character... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. At Terra Grigia. Exactly. Under the water at Terra Grigia, though? responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. And we're gonna be- is this an underwater swimming mission? Again. <laughs> is he regretting some of his choices? Right, okay. He's got a sample of the virus fucking with him. FBC, everybody freeze! What? What? Okay, the FBC's just infiltrated BSAA headquarters. Hello. Morgan Lansdale. What up, Count Dooku? We're taking this show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien. You are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Now that you're here in person. Jill. You're our only hope. They can't hear you, dude. So just like that, they swoop in and take over the BSAA headquarters. The remains of Terra Grigia. Queen Dido. Are we here to recover? Ooh, look at the scuba get-ups. Are we here to recover that footage of the interactions with Morgan Lansdale as evidence against him or something? Ooh, I've got fish. Dude. Queen Dido. I'm sure somebody would graffiti a little L in that word there, if you get what I'm saying. Somebody would do it. I would. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, more heaving the mouse. Yeah, Jesus. Here we go. Fuck my mouse up some more. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, okay. It's fast if I just do this really fast on the spot. It's such weird controls, this game. It was designed for a handheld console, but it just does not translate to a mouse well at all. I should have used a controller. I'm just not good with controllers. I wonder if this ship's going to have the same layout. The first two ships did. Like, I wonder if I'm going to recognize which corridors I'm in and shit. This is actually really creepy, but cool, I like it's it. It's rather quiet. Like time itself has stopped. That's a very bassy voice Jill's got underwater. Blobs we found on the beach. They came from here. Oh my that god. That explains why Morgan cordoned off the area. Um, can we look at this? Oh, it's got a mouth. <laughs> Looks like it's down for the count. Yeah, right. Um... Oh, there's no map. We've got two doors here. Um, let's look at this one. Ooh! Right, we're full. Oh, hello. So late in the game to be getting, like, um... And our new weapon parts and shit. We've got fucking sharks in the water. We were lucky they weren't swimming around when we swam in here. My god. Are we going to be having to fight in some... Sh 
sharks soon. Oh my god. I have horrible memories of the sharks from the first game. Never again. Th this looks like the same guy that got ragdolled in the cutscene with Quentin Keith. Hello? At least he died a human, more or less. I wonder if those corpses on the beach were Veltro. Oh, fuck me. This is creepy. Hello, Blob. Yep. Careful. You won't be able to fight them off underwater. Thanks for the heads up. Let's go left where that thing is not. Well, let's just ignore my own advice. Just for a split second. Um. That th that thing just either those can things can open doors. Or they're just teleporting. There's multiple like directions to go here. Right, we're getting so much ammo, clearly, at some point. Um we're gonna be on land. It's an it electric lock. I hope the emergency power still works. Okay, Chris, you're in the way, dude. They're all pulled apart. I'll fix them. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. Okay, officially we're splitting up. <laughs> splitting up is never a good thing. Ever. I tell you, the, the lack of a map is like fucking me. There's endless doors to go through here. In fact, I'm gonna go back. I'm sure those are the ways to go. Lock this room down here. I think that's it, just ammo. And I'm glad I didn't miss that. My god. Well, I'm glad I came fucking back. Oh my god. I need to get into a weapon box. I want to see what all these parts are that I'm getting. Um, that is the power switch. Would any of this technology work underwater? Hello, Blob. Oh my god. Hello, Blob. Um. Oh god. <gasps> Swim, 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 swim through the hole. I've got this. I've got this. Jesus fucking Christ. Can it come through the holes? No, okay. In an emergency, swim to the holes. I, I swam right over that first one and it didn't give a fuck. Nope, it's coming. It's coming. I duped it like a professional. They seem to be stupid. Then again, they are just big blobs. Jill, the door's open. Okay, on my way back. I'm not very knowledgeable with blob anatomy, but I'm pretty sure big blobs don't have brains. Keep swimming. I'm assuming this goes in a big circle. It's like a little submarine blob. <laughs> uh, right, hang on. Hang on. I think we can follow it. Officially. I follow it and go through. There you go. Professional. <sighs> That was close. Actually, it wasn't even re remotely close. Okay, let's move in. What are we actually looking for? Like, what's the objective? We don't have one. Okay. After we've already fought and killed that massive... Kraken, I don't know what the final boss of the game could possibly be. Morgan?
At least we get to shoot now. There's still air. What is going to be down here? He hasn't been dead for long. That looked like Raymond slightly just then. Weirdly. He's got an FBC armband on. Which is odd. He's FBC. Yeah, that is that's weird. There's something in his hand. A tape of Lansdale's interactions and shit. Maybe. All right, before we pick that up. Um, let's scan. <laughs> um, well, there's nothing here. Weird that an FBC guy is dead. I assume that they were all sort of bad guys, really. Oh shit, I can just keep going. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Let's loot it now. Voice recorder. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team. Everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Veltro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge kept them alive. Well, that was a terrifying screech. I, I'm, I don't know what honestly is going on right here. FPC guy's dead, they came to the ship, somebody was waiting for them. Little confused, not gonna lie. But it's all good, let's just keep going. I need to question things less. We've got our awesome weaponry back though, thank fuck for that. Hang on, it's a, a weapon box somewhere. Still no map. Is it so hard to get a map? Big blob. Big blob. I can move that. Did you say that? I actually moved it a, a couple of inches. Damn Jill Strong. What the fuck was that? Jesus, it's dark in here. Is it? If my video is really dark on YouTube, I, I, I apologize. This is actually really dark. We are like full. Full and full. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. We've got a row of bodies. Oh my god. Gotta do our looting first. So there's a row of bodies on here. Ekrem Ataizi, 1977 to 2005. This was this one was of a strong will. He almost fought off his mutation, so th th so these blobs were people. Straight up. Straight up. Some of them didn't mutate. Oh, hang on, there you go. Yeah, he's got a face. Well, if that wasn't cre creepy, nothing is. What the fuck? The door just opened by itself. Um, let's get on the other side of the table. So whoever was on these ships was doing the... Doing the... Experimenting on shit. And then Morgan betrayed them. That's that's what I got from the last major cutscene. Kafer Tokush, a martyr who died for the Veltro cause. Hmm. I I can't tell if Veltro were working for Morgan basically this whole time. It kinda of feels that way. Ugolino Bar Baronio. What's with all the um, names? 
Not only loyal to Veltra, but a good Bunch friend. Of martyrs to their cause. There's, are these Italian names? They, they sound vaguely Italian to me. Gilberto Leone. Gilberto Leone. His love for his wife was matched only by his love for pizza. Ah, I shouldn't say that. Pasta, not pizza. That's the national dish. Um, I'm half Italian, so I can say that. <laughs> Much, even though I don't look like it. Molto bene. Right, any more scannables? I think we're good. Let's let's get some fucking info. Seriously, I need something to connect the dots. Dante Alighieri's La Divina Commedia. Is it Spanish or is it Italian? The, the names look Italian, but that sounds Spanish to me. An offering to the dead. A passage has been underlined. How the rain maketh them like unto dogs. One side they make a shelter for the other, oft turn themselves the wretched reprobates. Uh, there is something written at the edge of the page in sloppy handwriting. Those who offer their lives to the doctrine forever walk the path with the great Jack Norman. There's Norman mentioned again. I mean, we, we in the cutscene, Morgan basically openly betrayed Norman. He, he basically said, Norman, enjoy your death on this ship, and then the ship sank, so I guess he betrayed Veltro? Ra rather than sort of ran it. Maybe he betrayed them. Anyway, we've been in this room for 40 minutes. Let's keep going. This episode is already really long. <laughs> Did I just see a, dig a dog with a sword on the wall? Uh, oh, it's him. We know that guy. It's Gordon, old Gordon Freeman. Veltro. Is this Norman, then? Like the Veltro leader. It's already deep below the sea. Death. There's no escape. No chance of survival. Unless. Mm. Well, that's the virus. Oh, bright. Oh, shit, man. Oh, my God. Final boss of the game. <laughs> Okay, Veltro are just fucking crazy. And Morgan betrayed them, clearly. What monster is he gonna become? Morgan, never shall there be rest. We rise from the dead. Our spirit and callous and immutable force. <laughs> it, it was a dog with like a, a bayonet gun. Interactions are right in here. We shall become guardians of the truth. I'm guessing we're gonna kill him. Years as it may take. We're gonna have to kill him to get that tape recorder. Okay, I get it. Norman was the head of Veltro. And he has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. He does indeed. Okay then, let's make sure we're all full and good to go. So Veltro did exist. Obviously. They weren't to do with General Morgan. I think Morgan just used them generally. To, to, to leverage his own power in government and shit. Right, we've got several parts here before we continue. Critical one. Charge shot two. Um, what is critical one? It's for any gun. Um, ups the crit hit rate by 30%. Um, and charge it. I'm going to put that on the revolver because I don't need fast shots with the revolver thing. Even more damage. That Okay, this is just crazy. Very good. We are full. Well, we need Magnum ammo, but other than that, we're full. 
So it was, it was a dog with a, I saw I saw a dog and a sword before the scene changed. That's an interesting logo for Veltro. Sword dogs. Um Oh my god, that's trippy. That's tripping me out, is that screen, my god. Hang on. Sorry. I didn't see the massive door here. Okay, down into the bilge. Or wherever. So hang on, all these FBC guys, I don't know when they came to this ship, but clearly Veltro killed them. Or that of or Norman specifically. God. Oh, how much artist thou. What's with all the like the scripture? By each one to be oh, fuck me. Who doth read that which was manifest unto mine eyes? Okay, that voice is getting loud. I don't like that. I want to read this real quick. Um, it's an FBC. It's an FBC corpse. Guess they were looking for clues too. But was that before the ship sank? Shall find again his dismal tomb. Shall reassume his flesh and his own figure. Shall hear what through eternity re-echoes. Is this guy just not going to shut up? This is one of those guys who loves his scripture, loves his thoughts, and won't shut up. Vengeance of God. Oh, Let's shut him up. Artist thou. I've got a magnum with your fucking name on it. Shut up and stop talking. By each one to be dreaded, who doth read that which was manifest unto mine eyes. It looks like he managed to control his mutation, like at will, because that. Pape Satan, Pape Satan, Alepe. Oh, hang on. Did I scan before? Each one shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume his flesh and his own figure, shall hear what through eternity re echoes. Let's just get this out of the way. We've, we've got our battle arena. Vengeance of God. Oh, how much artest thou. I'm sure there was a way of zooming the, this camera in. But I can't remember what it is. That which was manifest. Here he goes. Here he goes. Hello? Morgan! Morgan Lansdale. Uh, how dare you cross Veltro? So yeah, they were working together at one point. Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? We are not Morgan. Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. Is he gonna eat it? To bring down your entire charade. Catch it! Catch it! Grab it! Fine. I, I really thought he was gonna eat it, and then we would have to kill the mutated version. It. We got the evidence. I need lootables. It's important. Um, well, clearly it's not going to be. It's not going to be as simple as walk out the door. But right, we are. Good. We've, we've even got Magnum ammo. Um, I mean, once you use the rocket, it is gone, and then I won't have a third weapon, so I'm not going to bother with that. We're going to use conventional weaponry. Can I shoot this guy? Veltra are not good guys. Right, I don't give a fuck. Okay, let's try walking out the main door then. Like this is gonna work. Stop! No, run away. We're gonna expose Morgan. Isn't that isn't that what you want? Morgan, behold the terror which you have unleashed. Can you please? Oh my god. I thought he already, like, fucked himself. All they had to say was, we're not Morgan, we're, we're working against Morgan. And he would be our friend. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Final boss. Unless Morgan's the final boss. Let's blast the save and continue.
It looked like he, he increased from about, what, six foot tall to about ten foot tall, so... Already he's pretty fucking big. <laughs> mm. At least I've got the appropriate weaponry. Let's do this. Let's dance with the devil. 6.40 a.m. He's got wings. Oh my god, man. He's like a tyrant. Norman, stop! His Norman fa isn't here. It's no use. He's gone over the edge. His face is like Chris Walker from Outlast. Um. Whoa! Catch the fucking tape, Jill. What the fuck? Grab that tape. It's important. This guy can teleport. What the? We need to lose him. Where did the tape go? The tape! Fuck! 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 I'm looking at the tape on the floor. Why can't I pick that up? I don't oh think my he's god. Mood to say goodbye. Yeah, but we're not here to oh! <laughs> Let's start throwing nades. Uh, so I can dodge that. Okay. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. I can't see now. It's like a disco ball in front of my face. Jesus. I just need to put some serious fucking shit into this guy. What the fuck? He just seems to randomly miss sometimes. This gun does so much damage. <gasps> Best time to reload. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm sucking. He just seems to hit you sometimes randomly and sometimes not. Right, we're good. I, I don't know. It's, uh, it seems strange. You clearly can't run straight past him. Ow. You can't run away from him either. Right, he didn't hit me. Right, you've got to just get some good distance. And then you just get knocked over. Shoot me in the balls. Ow. What am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> Fucking hell, man! He just he just appears whichever way I'm moving at them in the moment. This guy is an awesome physical design. Fuck, man! This guy's fucking me, but I can see her behind Chris. Fuck my- oh, this is shit, this is bad. Oh, he, he hit Chris and not me. Oh, stand up, man! Oh my god, the fucking physics. I wanted- I wanted to see what would happen. I'm fucking dead now. Am I dead? He, he literally appears whichever way you're moving. You see what I mean? No matter what- I'm dead. No matter what direction you're running, he appears in that direction. So all you can do is turn and run away. Um, shoot Norman when he tries to use his special abilities. Yeah, all you can do is- is, is turn and run away, but- that's what I was doing. Oh, I see. I should have tried shooting his heart as well at some point. I don't think he's in the mood to say goodbye. Right, I see. I see his heart thing opens up when he does the ability. I see. Look at his design. This is like Mr. T on fucking steroids. Sorry, not Mr. T. Be careful. <laughs> Sorry. Not Mr. I just called him Mr. T. Mr. X. Looks like <laughs> fucking Mr. T.
<laughs> Looks like Mr. X on absolute steroids. Take Mr. X, make him like 1.5 times large and give him even bigger arms and spikes and shit. I can't see now. Damn, it's like a disco ball's in front of my face. Why can't he see? I see. The thing on his back looks like a weak spot. Shit. Faster. No! I couldn't do anything about that. <laughs> I don't want to waste a magnum shot. I might waste some um, assault rifle shots on his back thing. Is he mutating to phase two? Whoa! Um, only one of those had an exposed heart. Revenge has consumed him. Nothing human remains. This guy can not only teleport, he can fucking mirror image. Like a wow mage. I mean literally mirror imaging. Shit. I guess one of them is actually fake, so even when he swings... Oh, shit. Even when he swings, it doesn't actually hit you. Fuck! My god, man. Calm down. This guy is like one of those predator creatures, but on fucking steroids. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was a fake one. I think we're doing good. It's nice and simple when you know how to hurt him. That's right, bitch. Can we punch him in the face? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Kick him. Jesus. Rude fuck. Alright, it's exposed all the time now. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. My bad, my bad. I fucked it. Let's shoot that thing on his back. Shit! I need ammo. <laughs> Jesus, dude. What is he, immortal? Here he comes. Right. Uh, right, that shit on his back. I need that. I need the back shits, definitely. Oh, oh my god. I do more damage at close range with this gun. Ha. Oh my god. Oh, 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 fuck, he got me. That mirror image shit is trippy. Oh, fuck, man. I'm not ready for this. Why is Chris just standing here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Fuck you with your one eye. Was Chris, like, blind during that fight or something? Oh, he's probably got devil hands. Look at that. Everything finished. Finally. I can die. I can die. How's he speaking without a mouth? <laughs> he's got one eye and then just flaps. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, here we go. Thanks for setting the ship on fire. He was like Nemesis's, like, weaker brother. <laughs> how Morgan treats his friends. But he betrayed them. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. I hope you hold on to that tape recorder this time. It's fucking important, Jill. Come on. The means of dispersion? 
The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Hidden camera. Good idea. Very well. Norman. Now show me the goods. This virus. Ooh, eight samples. Bonafide tea abyss. No vaccine. Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. So they were both parties were just evil as shit. Who would have thought, yes? That the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. Oh, he's laying it thick for the camera recording. Well, thank you, Norman. You might have been an evil shit willing to kill civilians, but at least you recorded an even more evil shit. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA. Surely his soldiers aren't going to stick by him now. Well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Uh, I, why? Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Why would you offer him that back? Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Would they really? You may in fact be correct. I don't agree with that. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. You're only fooling You're yourself. fucking right. You said yourself, abandon hope all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante, and you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale. You are under you are arrest. hereby relieved of your position as FBC Commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. Those are his own soldiers who... respect, Director O'Brien. The BSAA is making a huge mistake. Why? I'm in, I'm in, I'm intrigued. There was some truth behind his words there. Why, why do we need to be worried? There's like several more Resident Evil games to come, so clearly he was correct. <laughs> Episode 12, The Queen is Dead. I knew we wouldn't get to fight Lansdale. Achievement unlocked, the storm is gone. S.A. Do I get one overall rating at the end of this game? B. What do you mean, fucking B? I kicked his ass so hard. I may have died and sucked ass, but come on, come on now. Is that the end of the game? Oh, here we go. I swear, half of Resident Evil games end looking at a, at a big blue ocean. We can finally reveal what happened in Terra Grigia. Yeah. The cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? Not long. The, a storm will come back very soon. After Morgan Lansdale's arrest, the FBC was dissolved with the majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. Right. So the BSAA turned into the bioterrorism people. The BSA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspices of the United Nations. Makes sense. Makes complete sense. That's what the FBC should have been. So the, the BSAA... Oh, it's these two fucking guys. Keith Lumley is now a leading figure at BSAA's East African branch due to his accomplishments at Valkoin Moki. Quint Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but he still works at the BSA's main headquarters in the R&D department. Okay. He would not get a promotion. Let's keep it real. So he survived, then? We thought he died. Jill and Chris thought he died. 
Parker Luciani was found adrift offshore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. Ah, so he did survive. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operations agent for BAS BSAA's main headquarters. Well, I'm glad he survived. He was a good guy. With fantastic hair. So that flashback was after he fell into the fire. Clive O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and step down from his position as head of the BSAA. Responsible. Good decision. He's got the respect of his dudes on the way out as well. It makes sense, he did do some sh shady shit. He is currently an advisor to BSAA and is also writing a detective novel <laughs> from the comfort of his own home. He could just use his own shady experiences. This looks like the Outlast Mansion. As for Jill and Chris, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Is that Revelations 2? I, I don't know anything about any of these games that I'm playing, but... I figure Revelations 2 continues with the same characters. And there you go. Well, Jesus, thanks for joining me. This game was, um, it was a breath of fresh air, strangely, because I play these games, as you all know, for the story. And that's exactly what I got. We got the twists, we got the turns, we had like... What we thought were bad guys, like Raymond, turned out to be good guys. We had the good guys, like Jessica, turned out to be absolute evil fucks. By the way, we saw no um, on-screen message there mentioning what happened to Jessica, so I'm guessing she's alive. And maybe like the final boss of Revelations 2. But yeah, this game um, was designed for... Was it the Nintendo 3DS or something? So it was... Um, it was a stripped back experience as I'm playing it sitting here on a PC, um, but I don't mind that. Once I once I learned it was for a handheld device, it makes sense. All the features were stripped back for this game, like healing was just one tap. You know what I mean? There was no, there was much, much less, or if any, um, inventory management, which is fine for a handheld device. Um, I got what I came here for, really, is, and that's the story. 85-90% of why I'm playing through the Resident Evil games is for the story, not necessarily the gameplay. If the gameplay is great, fantastic. I'll enjoy every second of it, but I'm, I'm here for the twists and turns and character development and overall plot and um, all the different facets of bioterrorism and viruses and shit. And I got exactly what I wanted, so I actually really thoroughly enjoyed this. I can I can imagine now, um, I've no idea, but I can imagine a lot of people not liking this game because the gameplay is so stripped back compared to other Resident Evil games. Um, now I'm, I'm playing these in the order that everyone suggests, which is like chronological rather than release order, and really, and, and playing it this way does confuse certain like plot points or character developments. Um, um, so I'm not sure when the hell Revelations 1 and 2 were released in relation to 4, 5, and 6. Um, I'm doing 4, and then this game, and the next next up is Resident Evil 5, and then after that is Revelations 2. So we're going to have to play and complete 5 before we get back to Jill and Chris then, I guess. Um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed this along with me. It ended with... It ended with Jessica Unknown, no fucking idea. Parker did survive. This this game's it jumped all over the place. I loved the story, but they were a bit um they were a bit willy-nilly with how much they jumped back and switched characters and then flashed back, flashed forward. It was it was a bit confusing, but I tried my best to keep up. Um and it wasn't clear whether Parker died or survived. Because we had that little flashback to Parker being injured and then finding Raymond and I wasn't clear if that was after he fell or before but it was after he survived which is hilarious the whole ship went down when that Kraken monster attacked Jill and Chris flew off and Parker is just fuck it poor bastard Parker is just left there um 
let me know in the comments if Ra if Raymond died, because if he did, I'm a moron and I missed it completely. Um, oh shit! Turn the sound up, hang on real quick. Is it purple? That's Jessica. Automatically. <laughs> if it's purple, it's Jessica. There she is in oh, all her e too easy, wasn't it? Just like that, she's got a sample of the virus. The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. By the way, why save Parker? Oh, you evil fuck. I have my reasons. Oh my god. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. Fun's just getting started. What the fuck? Is he is he a bad guy then? 98% looks like... It, oh my god, what a fucking twist right at the fucking end of the credits, man. What is this, an Avengers movie? With the after credit shit. So fucking what? Back in civilian life, Raymond just gives the virus to Jessica. So I'm guessing Raymond was evil. He, I always said he had the, fa the, the face, the scrunched up evil looking face of a villain. Oh, I did like a 180 in my head and heart that Raymond was actually a good guy all along. Nope. If he's just, if he's just given the virus to Jessica, unless he has some fucking super mega plan, then he's a bad guy as well. And he completely played me. Oh, you see, that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I play these games. Because I just got played like a fiddle. I got played like a trombone. So Jessica and Raymond, um, from that cutscene, I, I wouldn't say they're like working together. Or, or like, I wouldn't say they're in the same organization just there. Because that was clearly like a meetup and like an exchange. Do you know what I mean? Raymond gave her the virus. So I don't know. Oh, fuck, man. I hope that shit continues in Revelations 2. It must do. Fucking Raymond. I knew he was a bad guy. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me for this, uh, for this game. And I hope I'll catch all of you in Resident Evil 5. Like all this... Fucking my brain is spent. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And subscribe for similar content and similar games, etc. All my social media links in the description. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my playing of all of these games. I fucking enjoy the shit out of it. <laughs> I'll catch all of you guys in the next game. Liquid Blitz. Out.